everybody. Hi guys. Welcome to uh, a episode after a year of being being yeah. out, out of the studio. I mean, yeah. we did a live studio, a, a live uh, shoot at our house. That yes. was last summer. Yes. And that was it. After that, we didn't, you know. At the studio, we no, we haven't anything. been here in over a year. Yeah. It's crazy. But uh, a lot it's of good things, to be back. A lot of things happening, and now it's springtime. You know, mm -hmm. it's spring. And uh, things are getting better. Spring and, is uh, in the air. We got a great guest tonight, though. We got Pete Demofetta. Yep. Is that yep. right? Yep. And we got uh, Miranda Panda, my co-host. Yep. Miranda. Hi. And we can't, we, the reason why we only got three people tonight is because that's all you could have in the studio. Mm. But we figured we'd do a show and, um, you know, we feature um, Pete here tonight because he's got a lot of stories about SNL. Plus, we got Rollins. And stuff like that, right? Mm -hmm. And Miranda is in a um, a magazine. Oh well, she's not in it yet, but you, well, she was in. Well, you were in really great magazine. You yes, yes, magazine. I was in a few magazines, but um, this yeah. one is a contest for Maxim. Um, I'm in the running. I've made it to the second round. Uh, the third the third round starts tonight. I think I'm probably going to be in the third round, and then we'll see where it goes from there. But we're slowly like getting to. Um, so who's going to win, you know? So we'll see. Hopefully that'll work out. And um, I was telling you before yeah. that I did a movie in Coney Island called Duke of New York. Um, and I also did a music video with this rapper named HD. He's a he's a friend of mine now. He's nice. He's a really nice guy. He's got some really good songs. So go check him out, too. Because um, you were telling me that you have a Coney Island song. Yeah, Coney Island song. So Don't let the summer go by. Come, go on the island ride. <laughs> Don't let the summer, mm. baby. Don't That's let right. the summer go by. That is great. Yeah. Yeah. But that was like, yeah, we're gonna rock it in the studio. We're gonna go in in a couple of weeks, maybe in a week. Nice. We gotta get it before awesome. the summer comes, because then if it goes by, we're in trouble. Then you did let the summer then, go by. Then we let the whole <laughs> thing go by. Everything, you know, see, that's the whole thing. That's what I love about uh, live entertainment mm. is that. It happens, you know, you do it in time. You do it, mm -hmm. let it go. Yeah. You know, there's no practice. If you if yeah. you got to practice now, you might as well give up and jump into a lake somewhere. Oh, wow. No, 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 not that bad, no. But, uh, yeah, it's tough. No, I know, I know you mean. But you know what I want, you know what I asked you, Miranda, before we get to Pete? Yeah. So I wanted to talk to him about a lot of crazy stuff that he yeah. did. And I said, uh, um... What is the, what are some of the things in the magazine that they go by? Like like what is, what are they, what are they looking for in in you know, as far as how many hits you get? In is the contest, yeah, it's it's based on voting as of right now. We'll see what they do later in like the next round or the round after. But the first few rounds are, are based on like voting, so you know it's kind of like a viewer's choice thing in a way. Um, and then. Yeah, it's, it's kind of more of like a sexier magazine, not like nudity or anything, but it's, it's um yeah, it's just like a, kind of like stylish, sexy type of magazine, so you know, we'll see what happens. If you guys can go vote for me, if you see yeah. this, and you know, like, like you know, I'll Well, everybody on Twitter now knows you know, Miranda, they gotta vote for you. <laughs> but is there any place else <laughs> they could... Go and put, like some people that are not on mm -hmm. Facebook. Is there any other way to? Yeah, I don't know. I I'm not sure. Um, cause I a lot of people told me YouTube? that they link not it. On YouTube, right? No, they they a lot of people told me they link it to your Facebook to make sure that people aren't voting more than once a day. You can donate to vote. Um, your <clears throat> so the money that you're donating goes to also it goes to a good cause, which is Wounded Warriors. So like they help veterans. I think it's veterans. Um help them build like homes and, and find housing and stuff like that so it the money is going to a good cause but it'll also like go to um getting me more votes too but yeah i'm trying to do a bunch of stuff right now and you know we're doing yeah. this show we've got the other movie we're doing well it's good but you have Looking you have a God, couple of things so. on facebook where you're doing some like comedy things now you get into comedy yeah i've been doing a little like uh little social media Stop. skits wow. um little little skits on like tiktok instagram uh, things like that. Oh, I also do a podcast every Saturday night called The Green Room. Um, wow. That's been going really well, too, and I've been posting uh, videos every week for that, like promotional videos. So that's probably what you've seen also. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I've just been trying to do a bunch of stuff. And yeah, I've seen, I've seen a, a couple of them. There was one that really 
was really funny, you know? Yeah, I got to name Not all of them are, you know, going to be, you know, you got to try. That's what, yeah, that's yeah. what comedy's all about, trying. Yeah, I'm going to make a new batch be, this week. Yeah, everybody thinks you're going to be funny just on the first try, but a, yeah. lot of, a lot of comedians, they went through a lot of... Um, yeah, no, some things do balls. better than others. i seen, look at Jackie Gleason, i seen... Did you see the, the old flicks of Jackie Gleason that they never shown oh, before? Yeah. yeah, the lost episodes. They, they weren't fu They weren't funny. No. Without without the the what's her name the Audrey Meadow. Audrey Meadow. Yeah. Without Audrey Meadows. And you know I, I read a thing on her. She was a a model like you are, mm -hmm. and she uh, she she they asked her you know she they, there was a show coming out and Jackie Gleason was looking for a, a new for a host. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, when I host a, a wife for the show, <laughs> and um, she he picked he picked her, and she was a you know high end like model. Yeah. But you know he didn't think it was gonna work because they were looking for more and older. She was younger. Yeah. So, but it clicked. You know, sometimes you never know. Yeah, I know. You never know what's gonna um, timing is everything, and and mm -hmm. uh, you know. I have a little story on Jackie Gleason. Uh, the stagehands told it to me. Yeah. That, yeah. He went out to Florida. He this took is his Pete, crew. Pete Ovetta, everybody. Yeah. From he's, SNL, he's been a with all the stars. He actually was with the Blues Brothers. He actually encountered. He was yeah. on set with the Blues Brothers. Wow. Um, that was a filling. Uh, uh, they were Laura Michaels. What about the guy that's from? Um, um, Vegas vacation with uh, oh, Chubby Chase. Chubby yeah. Chase, right? Yeah. Chubby you were on set with him? Yes. That I mean, cool. that was a great movie, right? Mm -hmm. with Chubby Chase where he's digging up the money. Yeah, there. he was only with the show for about a year. That was great. The year he did so much that it's like he did, you know, most of the show. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but Jackie Gleason, when he went out to Miami, he told all his crew, all the stagehands, he goes, I want to take you out to Miami. And I uh, told him, you know, hey, you guys owe any money? Because the Shylocks used to be coming in the back doors looking for their money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he, he says, well, I want you to be honest how much you owe me. Because if anybody comes in when I'm doing my show in Miami, he goes, they would be in a lot of trouble. So whatever you need. So the guy told him I need five grand. He gave him ten grand because he figured they're probably lying, you know. So wow. yeah. he did that. It was a nice gesture. And he was great at shooting pool. He was uh, yeah. Minnesota Fats himself. And what about uh, Rosanna Dana? Oh, Rosanna Dana, I got close with her. Uh, Rosanna Dana, um, Dana? No? When I went into the studios. That's the old SNL. That's the, that's the yeah. funny, funny SNL. Right? That's the OG SNL. Okay. That's like the, that, like the way we are now, you know, just like... Off the cuff, that's yeah. the way they walk. I was wow. very shy that when I went in there. I was very shy, and she took me out of my shyness. She says, we all, we're all flesh and blood. We're all the uh -huh. same. And don't be walking around with your head down. Just be like a, 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 a peacock. Just, you know. Yeah. And, and she took me out of it. And I used to practice skits with her. Like, she would do a new skit, and she'd demonstrate it with me. Sometimes she would come do a cartwheel, and grab me and almost flipped me over. We did like some really wild stuff. She was beautiful. She uh, had a heart of gold. Uh, yeah. And she we were, she left too. I heard she was pretty wild too. Oh, wild she was. She was funny. She would pull all uh, pranks on us. Oh yeah, she was the she was the kicker. She was go. What was her line again? Uh, Rosanna, Rosanna, oh, Donna. Yeah. You got it right down and down and my bad and bad bad bad. And yeah. she'd go on rattling. She was on, making like, fun like, of Barbara like, Walters actually. And and. She do it more, and it, people would laugh even more. The more crazy she got doing that, Rosanna, my name is Rosanna, Dan, the band, the band, the right? Yep. She's the right along. Wow. And she uh, ad lived a lot. You that know, is she talented. She followed the script, and yeah. she did that. You should look her up because it might give you ideas. Mm -hmm. Very talented girl. I will. That is some. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, you could take you could take um, comedy from I Love Lucy. She was an. Oh yeah, Lucy was great. Yeah, yeah she was I loved her. Cup. Mm -hmm. With everything. There was a story about her, too. Okay. She didn't believe in plastic surgery, so they used to take, uh, like, uh, thread from a uh, sewing thread, and they would pull her skin and do, like, adjustments. So oh one of the actors, I don't know who it was, a com comedian, he saw the string hanging, and he went over, he says, oh, you got a string hanging. He pulled it, the whole face went, like, it just twisted in all different ways. You oh, know? my God. Because she didn't believe in plastic surgery. She was a beautiful woman, but... She did the show till she got into, I think she was in her late 60s, almost 70s. So. Oh, really? Yeah, so she needed a little work done, I guess. Wow. Like, I didn't know she was that old. They really made her look, like, yeah. younger. But she was beautiful, yeah. She yeah. was really beautiful. But, um, 
Well, oh, and you did uh, the thing with Billy Idol, right? Yeah, Billy Idol, the drummer what got was that stuck. About? Well, the drummer got this stuck is, in, um, in um, California, and he was taking the red eye, but he couldn't make it for the show. So, Lauren Michaels, uh, they told people that I played drums. I'm, I was a mediocre drum player. <laughs> Freddie's a hundred times better than me. Yeah. yeah but you, but you, you pulled it off. I pulled it off, yeah. but I was scared stiff. We did it, we taped it. We ran it, because a lot of saying that, like, people don't realize, it's not live. About, I'd say, half hours live, and the rest is all uh, done at rehearsals. And oh, really? Put in. Yeah, because there's too many quick set changes, and there's too many wardrobes, so mm -hmm. you have to space it out and do it. In, in the beginning, it was more live. Now it's pretty much, uh, you know, added in, and, you know, because they have a time slot. They go yeah. live. Give yeah. us an eight-second delay. Mm -hmm. I've seen many, like, I mean, I, I, once in a while, you know, I'll, I'll go on, um, but nothing attracts me to that show anymore, you know? No, well, it's all different now. It's all po po politics and stuff back in the day. Mm -hmm. they well, actually, um, sure. Fred Armisen is, was one of the funniest. He came on our show. Right, I remember seeing that. Yeah, he's, but he's you not were, on there anymore. Were you on the show? You weren't on the show. No, not oh, that. Yeah. That was before I came on here, unfortunately, because right. I would love to meet him, but yeah. um, he's not on there anymore, though, no? No, I don't see him on that. No, but he had his, he has his own. She had another show that he did. Right. Yeah. Show, uh, uh, I'm convinced yeah. that Warren Michaels could take anybody and make a star out of them because he's made stars out of everybody. I mean, it's mm -hmm. amazing. It's so talented. And we were, we thought that show was going to last maybe a year. I mean, we were like, oh, this is going to go off the end. Now it's over forty something years. We're going on yeah, fifty it's years. A long time. It's amazing. But like you said, they changed. They changed the way they the form. Yeah, well, they're not as live, live, right? I mean, yeah, know, I mean, they don't let the actors do more than they. I'm do. sorry to say, sometimes yeah. I watch it and I end up turning it off after the monologue. Like, uh, and then maybe I'll go back a little for yeah. the musical guest, but uh, uh, you know, nowadays it's not what it was back in the yeah. day in the seventies. In the 80s, it was. Yeah, and then people then, would in the bars would go home to watch it. The bars would empty out at 11:30 at night, so mm. people would go home and watch it. Yeah, they're, they're not breathing off of uh, reality that's really happening in the world today. You know. That's right. You know. Well, they are, but they're doing it in politics and all that, and it gets boring after a yeah, while. It's starting to turn a little bit. I mean, they've been doing before they were beating. The, the heck out of the Republicans. Now they're beating the heck out of the Democrats. Yeah. Funny. But, yeah, but I'm not even talking for that reason. I'm just saying, that after a while, no matter what subject you're on, yeah. if you stay on that same subject, it gets boring, no matter what you do. Of course. You know? Yeah, that's true. I mean, if you watch a shark movie, he keeps eating the same... No, I'll, I'll add my... That's true, though. <laughs> you know? It's like, after a while, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> it's just like when you... Like, a lot of comedians... I don't mind that they curse once in a while, but when they use it to try to be funny, it's not funny. Yeah, that's the only thing you have. If you use it in the context work, of what you're talking, your subject, yeah. and then you're hitting that off with a kick, and then it's, you know. Yeah. It has and you know, we did that good, and he was on our show. He, now he's becoming big. Um, Fred Rubino. Oh, yeah, Rubino. Fred Rubino, did I see him live? Anybody out there? That wants to see a, a funny, funny comedian that's yeah, been funny. on our, been on the Stan Island comedy show. Nevin Cummings, we've got to mention him because Nevin, oh, yeah, Nevin. was the original uh, comedy uh, yeah. show. I still Stand do co-hosting for Nevin, but we're virtual right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like when Freddie was on Lovino the show. Did virtual. that commercial for the Eyeglass Place? It's hysterical. I mean, yeah, that was great. That yeah, was, yeah. You know, he had lives off, and now we're, we're getting close to. We have a movie that. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm helping uh, oh, yeah, the producer and stuff, and Miranda's yeah, yeah. going to hopefully be in it. And uh, maybe yeah. even your godson might my, be my, in yeah, it. My nephew, Frank my James. That, well, we got the, we got the, uh, the Yankee song. I told about Frank James, the Yankee song that I did. I'm going to show it in a minute. Just hold off for a second. But, yeah, so, I mean, that's, that's what it is about comedy, you know. It should be more, it should be more natural, like, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? I mean, I give them credit either way. Pat ways. Cooper, right? He was a, another one. Pat Cooper was on the show. Yes. I mean, we had, we had stars on, on, you know, we had stars on the show. Even though we got a lot, we, we kid around because we said, with the bottom feeder movie. Yeah, uh, bottom feeders. The bottom feeders, you know, <laughs> we call ourselves bottom feeders because, you know, we're at the bottom and they're, they're making money at the top. Yeah. But there's a lot of talent that comes 
the CTV, you know? Yes. Yeah, that I bring, is. A lot, I bring uh, myself, I bring, I had the bottom feet of rock star. He yeah. had great talent. He was with um, the guy that promoted the Beatles. The yeah. Beatles. He said, what do you, re when he, you know, he'd tell them all the time. He'd say, uh, yeah. Danny, are you ready yet? He'd go to his office and he'd tell him, no, I'm not ready yet. I said, what are you going to, I said, then, right before he died, listen to this, yeah. you want to hear a story. I'm jamming with, I'm now I'm jamming with the bottom feet of rock star all over the, you know, Jersey, you know, we played at uh, Stone Pony, the Wonder Bar there. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, those are two legendary places, right? So, one day we got a meeting to go and see Pete, uh, I forgot his last name, but his name is Pete. Go see Pete, and he's, he was the one that brought the Beatles to New York mm -hmm. and promoted them. So... We go to his office and he goes, are you ready now? Daddy, I said, Daddy, if you tell him you're not ready, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> right? I'm going to kill you. Do I know this, I'm going to kill you. This is, the, now, this is real, you know, this is story, just a couple of stories about my, but anyway, so he looks at me and I says, are you ready yet? He goes, oh yeah, we're ready. I says, okay, we're ready. So sure enough, we, we're getting ready to plan out, you know, different ventures that we're going to do with yeah. the music and he was going to promote us and everything. Yeah. About a month later, he died. Aww. Dead. Terrible. But <laughs> it just goes to show you, if you're not ready now, if somebody says, you, ready? no, but I'm saying, timing is everything. Yeah. No, but if you, if somebody comes up to you and you're in the bill, like we're in the world in the business, you're doing the mind, I do the music, I do everything. But, and Pete, you do it right now. Oh, now you got to, I forgot to say about his radio. He's, a, he's now a radio guy, and he's not even getting paid for it. Yep. So he's a triple bottom feeder. <laughs> he's working with uh, Frank Russo, right? Yes. So he's got a call and show on call uh, and show. the weekends. Uh, he's on, I think, Friday night and Saturday. <laughs> Very good show. Um, he's good hosting. He doesn't cut people off. Which is great, you know. A lot yeah. of these guys, they if you're not on the topic, they want to hear. They go slice and you're off the air. And uh, you know, I've been on a couple of times, and basically what he does, if I don't, you know, get on with him, he'll call me and he'll say, "You want to go on? You ready?" I might be half asleep, but I'm listening to the show, mm -hmm. and I'm on. We talk about interesting topics. We talk about my uh, experience with as a stage here and about a lot about life things that happen out on staten island mm -hmm. that i just run into you know happen to run in yeah so but what happened is then then he get you get you he get you get on the phone with him he's got me that i when i call yeah but i'll tell you get you, you could out talk anybody oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah you could body feed and talk out anybody that asked. but you know what's good about it, no but the thing is even though you talk a lot You've experienced a lot, and that's why you can't talk a lot. Yes. Oh, well, that's true. Mm -hmm. You know, like Jackie Gleason, when he gets the clock, and yeah. he goes yes. to, and the, you know, he goes to, um, um, Audrey Mellon, uh, he goes, his, 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 his mom comes in, he goes, all right, I'm putting the clock out. He puts the mm -hmm. clock out like this. You ever see that? Oh, yeah, it's a great episode. And he goes, to his wife goes, please, please. Press <laughs> the thing down, and she starts going off. On Jackie Gleason. Yeah. And he gets the, the, the clock. Bang! It rang. He hits uh, the clock. He goes, all right, you're out. Get uh, yeah. out. He kicked, he, kicked the, he kicked the mom. Oh, the, my God. The mother out. Yeah, that's yeah, a great yeah. episode. I but know. getting back, yeah. But I'm, I'm just kidding, but, you oh, know. Yeah. No, 100%. You yeah. know. But on the radio, but, but no, that's but, a compliment to me. I like that. I yeah. like speaking to people. Yeah, but on the radio, that's, a, that's, mm -hmm. that's an art. That's an art. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not. He usually has me come on when, when he's got somebody that's uh, calling the studio and uh, being a heckler or something. He puts me on. And one night, he puts me on with this guy, and I said, you know what? You like popcorn, eating it in the dark in the movies. You know what happens? You're eating the dark, and instead of eating the popcorn, you hit the kernels, and they're like, oh, what am I going to do with the kernel? And you oh, yeah. break a tooth. I says, I think you just broke a tooth. Yeah. And the guy hangs up, and he's like, oh, you know, flabbergasted, you know, yeah. it's like, uh, yeah, hold on that note, we're gonna go to, uh, can we go to the Yankees, uh, Yankees song, this is a song I wrote for the Yankees, and, um, Musto, the, the actor, he, he sent that, a letter out to the, to the, uh, organization, I will see, they, they, it's hard to get anybody to respond, but this would be a great song to get the, you know, 
Mm -hmm. Cold Blood really knocked everything out. It you would know? pump. It would pump the Yankees up. But mm -hmm. anyway, this is a song that I did video and stuff, and let's watch it now. If we can, there you go. See now that was a that was a believe it or not that song was a filling because I, I was recording that whole month different songs and everything in the studio every other day and then one night my father's watching the, the game it, it was the um, championship game World the Series. Yankees and no it wasn't the World Series it was the championship they were mm -hmm. playing the Yankees and my father was a big Met fan and that night I I, I fell asleep yeah. I, when I fell asleep in the middle, I fell asleep like at the end of the game. They were losing pretty bad. But anyway, I'm dreaming and I'm uh, uh, about this, the game and everything. And that's how I wrote the song about you know the, uh, it's about our ancestors till now. You know, mm -hmm. we never yeah. knew what was so exciting about the Yankees. Yeah. Now that we're a part of it, you know, and it's like it's a magical team. You know? Yeah. Like maybe it maybe would be, but I mean, it, it wasn't, no, but... <laughs> it's because we live in New York, No, but it's not that. The, the New York was a very powerful, it's, it's still very powerful, but, yeah, you know, I, know, I mean, we've had some bad times lately, but the Yankees uh, bring um, New York to another level because yeah. baseball became so big, and all the legends of baseball came through the Yankees, you know? They do, DiMaggio... I mean, you can name that. I mean, I'm not great. You remember any names there? Oh, well, Yogi Berra. Yogi Berra. Mm. I mean, so that's what this song is about. It's about the legends of the Yankees. But the part in the beginning where I go, come on, let's do the Yankee wave. Every time I would go to a game, yeah. people would be waving. Wave. Mm -hmm. You know, or they'd say, come on, do the Yankee wave. So yeah. in my head, I'm saying, wow, i got to put that in. So I said, 
Come on, everybody, let's do the Yankee wave. Now, if they hear that when they're at the stadium, the people are going to get up when they hear that, and then the song plays and it's rocking out. And then, you know, you don't have to play the whole song. You don't have to get too excited. But, yeah. you know, you just play a little bit of it. No, I love it. play in the middle and the end and whatever, you know? I love it. I really like the the beat of it, like the in the beginning with the guitar, like the electric guitar or something. Yeah, yeah, like oh, rock, yeah. We, it's like a rock type of beat, and then it goes into like a pop. And yeah, I'm like, it's funny, like that guitar play that I, we got on there, I, I, I seen him in a club when it was with the... Yeah. Um, your, um, my godson. Your godson. Yeah, Frankie. Frank did a great job on Frank it, too. Frank did a great job mm -hmm. singing it, you know. Yeah. And he's, he hasn't really done an original tour. You know, I always heard him do, everybody thought he was just an Elvis guy. This guy's an Elvis yeah. guy. You could sing Elvis, you know, strong and, and would, you know, and, and he pulled yeah. it off great. He did a great job in the studio with mm -hmm. it, you know. Yeah. So anyway, that's the Yankee song, everybody, and that was done. With creativity to, mm -hmm. uh, you know, what, what we do. Right? Yeah. And today's Willie Mays' 90th birthday. Wow. And really? And he's still in good oh, shape. Really? I saw him on the news. Happy birthday, Willie. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, birthday Willie. To Willie say, Willie. hey, kid. <laughs> Thanks for all the memories. And that catch you made was unbelievable. What was that catch, though? I think it was in the playoffs or something. Or the World Series. I think it might be the World Series. Yeah. He did that basket catch where he caught it, like, just down on the ground. It was an amazing catch. Yeah. And he was facing the other way. The ball came over and landed in his glove like this right against the wall, which yeah. is very hard to do, especially when you can't see the ball coming. Wow. wow. So we're doing the show today after the COVID. <laughs> no, after the love it, after the COVID. After the COVID. After the COVID. After the COVID. Well, it's over. So we're it's still the, in COVID, but well, you know what yeah, they said on they said on COVID, uh, the worst is over. Know, yeah, but they said you got more of a chance of getting uh, a virus now than the COVID. There's, there's more more cases of the virus than mm. you know. Oh, the flu. I'm saying. Oh, I was more saying cases of the flu now than than COVID. Yeah, yeah. Which is you know, that's a good thing, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, but anyway, yeah. Oh, getting uh, before we go back to you, people. Then. So, um, when is the contest? When is it, uh, your magazine? I really, I, they haven't given us an end date. Um, I just know that the second round ends tonight. And then, uh, I'm assuming in a few more weeks, probably. What are they I think it's like a month long. So, yeah. they yeah. like maybe, hopefully, like two more weeks or something. Well, what do they, what do they get? That's, that's, what, I that's what I like to know. Just publicity. Yeah, I guess I guess it's publicity. Is that a, is that a big you know? magazine? Yeah, it's it's pretty big. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty big. So you know, even if I don't win, um, I'm getting further than a lot of other girls. So I'm just happy about that. And like a lot of people have been supporting me, which is really grateful. So and it's just you know, it's get kind of getting my name out there a little bit. Even even if I don't win, you know, I'm still like. Yeah. I'm still kind of like promoting myself. Well, that's, and like, that's, I'm on their page right now, too. So. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Yeah, that's a good thing. Listen, it's not about winning. Look at uh, Jordan. He didn't even get picked for the All Stars in, in, in high school. Yeah. The biggest, greatest ball play, basketball player yeah. of all time. Yeah, well, you just got to keep going, you know? Yeah. Little by little. No, but I mean, sometimes you take. Sometimes you grow with it, you know, with experience, you know, and, and you're going through a lot of things. I mean, you've got a lot of experience from from doing um, doing the shows at CTV. Yeah, I can't believe it's already been like seven years. That's crazy. I mean, you 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 wouldn't have a, you you know been in front of the camera now doing what you're doing, bottom mm -hmm. feeding. Yeah, you're, I think this was one of the first shows I ever did. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, you got to start somewhere, right, Pete? That's right. Yeah, exactly. Look where you started. How did you get you? How did you get the job for that? I tell you, it's a funny story. <laughs> I had a gas station I was working at, and mm -hmm. uh, oh, you were always in. working at a gas station. Yeah, guy. You know, yeah. Drew, listen, did you ever tell you about the gas station you worked at? Oh yeah. The guy was taking the money up with the with the with, with the, the magnet. With the magnet. Yeah. That was bottom, That was the biggest bottom feed. <laughs> well, I was working at a gas station. Oh, this guy God. comes in to get work done. And he's watching me uh, with the ratchet. I'm taking the oil out. And he goes, you're not good with that. You know, I said, you should come up at my job. So I, I didn't want to take a chance because I was making decent money. So a friend of mine came in. He was just going off unemployment. And uh, he, I said, why don't you go? He went. He called me up. He says, man, this is like, I put a glass of water out and I made $150. All so I did all day. And he worked at uh, Channel 11 with uh, Bill Jorgensen and Pat Harper. 
I mean, they're, they're the legend, they're back in the 70s. Yeah. So uh, when the guy came in to pick up his car, I said, you think you got room for me to go up there? He goes, sure. So I went up. Wow. He brings me to his brother, and his brother says, he looks at me, he goes, my brother sent another bum up here. Right? That's why I says, oh, God. So I ended up going to work with a guy on the night crew. And mm -hmm. these guys were mostly, there were a lot of firemen working, some cops, they were moonlighting, you know. And uh, it was like, uh, there were a lot of convicts, that guys out of jail. You had no resume. Anybody could work up there as mm -hmm. long as you show up and you work. Yeah. So uh, I was working with this crew at night, and it was really scary because these guys were nuts. A lot of guys were Westies and cons. And... Uh, the boss, the, the guy's brother was a boss, and he said, you, what are you working up here? Well, I go, well, you didn't want me down there. So they yeah. started splitting me up. He took me down. It was a loading platform, and the other guy had me working upstairs. Mm -hmm. But then there was this crew called the dress crew, and that was like they were unique because they would go around and dress the setup. Like if the door squeaked, you'd fix the door for the so little... So you were an SNL. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. this was always up in the studio. Night night live. And you yeah. basically sat around waiting for work to come. They'd say, oh, I don't like this door. Can you fix it? Or can right. you... And that's where I, I used to dress up the set. The biggest thing was to put a picture up straight. Like you'd measure mm -hmm. it. Because when you're watching the set, if you see a picture crooked, and you would actually put tape behind it to keep it steady, because when they right. slammed the door... So that was what I was doing. And then I did lighting. I did sound. Wow. I did everything. I remember I was like a utility guy going to the different uh, parts. And then when you were telling me the story when um, uh, the Blues Brothers, um, Belucci right. and Ackroyd, right? Yeah. They were getting ready to do their... their uh, uh, yeah, well, that was that, filling. This is great. You got to hear yeah, this. Yeah, this was this filling. This is what really... When they did this... This is what it's really They had about. more time, to, and I guess a couple of the guests didn't show up, the musical guests. So, uh, Warren Michaels told them, can you kill like six minutes? It, so they went up, they went wow. up, and they had uh, some really talented guys, horn guys and stuff, and wow. they did the blue skit. And Bellucci come flying across the stage doing a cartwheel. He... For the size of him, because from all the drugs, he would come in weighing one day two something, the next day 180. He was like, it was and crazy. Did anybody wow. know he was going to do that? Like, uh, no, it? nobody knew. They just came on and they drove everybody nuts. I mean, we, we were laughing, we were loving it. The music was great. And uh, I give a lot of credit to Jim Bellucci because he did his own thing. When John died, he could have come stepped right in, but he didn't. He does his, he did his own com uh, comedy and stuff, and I think maybe in ways he was almost ex as successful as John. But he didn't, you know, jump into his grave. You know, he, mm -hmm. he respected his brother. Yeah. He loved them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's so sad yeah. though when I see that. Is... When, it, when, I, when he died, I was like, oh my God, that guy was. That guy was, uh, I don't know if you, do you remember him? Yeah, I remember him a little bit. But we re really remember because it yeah. was more of our era. Yeah, of course. And like when he died, I was like, wow, how could that be possible? He's the greatest. No, he, he was just so, far. Yeah. Well, I had to wait to see him on a movie or, or yeah, his movie was there. Animal House. And then he did another one, 1941, which was, people didn't understand it, but it was great. But in Animal House, I used to take the ladder and like, instead of, getting down and moving the ladder, I take the, and jump on the ladder and go around for the lights, you know? Yeah. But downstairs, they were doing Sue Simmons and the news with Chuck Scarborough. So they were complaining, what's this banging? It was me with the ladder. So then I put cushions <laughs> under the ladder, and I said, jump around. And in the movie, wow. John did that. And he actually did with the ladder when that girl was changing and he was going around the windows, then he fell over. Yeah. But the funny part, the jello scene that he did, that was me up in the cafeteria. I'd get up, go in, and they'd call me. you got to come back down to the set. So I would get the jello without the spoon, and I'd, and I'd suck it up, you know? So John did that in the movie. I'd wow. be like, John, you're doing all this stuff. He goes, yeah, well, that's you. I learned it all from you, you slob. You know, and I laughed. I mean, wow, it was that's good. So cool. yeah. You were saying that Laura Michaels didn't like his skit, though, right? When he did that, when he, when he did that... Flips and everything. Did a lot of stuff Laura Michaels didn't nobody like. He, he, he just, didn't like it. Oh, no, the thing with the, um, he was holding the suitcase and everything. Yeah, with the suitcase with the handcuff on he it. He didn't you know, really like that? He didn't like it, but everything there yeah, became so popular. So he put it, and then he... Well, he, that, that probably after the show. Oh, well, yeah, he learned to like it because it was yeah, successful. Right, right. Yeah. So he really doesn't... I mean, a lot of these guys that, you know, run in these companies, they don't even know themselves... 
if it's going to be successful. So uh, oh, most yeah. of the time, they're not going to say, well, they have an idea. Yeah, this is mm -hmm. what's copyright. I put this or do this mm -hmm. because this is. But then somebody comes out with something new and it becomes huge. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? You could do something crazy and people say, oh, that, that. They, they go, wow, everybody likes it, you know? I'm really convinced that he, lately he's been pushing the button to see how much he can get away with. I think he's pretty much getting ready to be done with the show because he's getting older now. He's actually 10 years older than me exactly almost. Like, I'm, 50, I'm 66 and he's got to be 76 now. So, you know, time is uh, of the essence for him. Yeah, he's got a lot of assistants and stuff doing it. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I don't think he's got his heart like he had back yeah. in the 70s and 80s. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, you know, I mean, after a while, you know, any job could uh, get to you, right? He's doing pretty, pretty much 50 years. I don't yeah, know how you can stop doing a job like that if you're making making big money and, and you know unless it's really a, you know a lot of work goes into the show yeah and the thing is and it's very expensive and yeah, he but doesn't he have he, he's paying oh, people yeah. to do but that he'll change the set like at 10 o'clock on a saturday night he'll say i want a new set they'll come in wet and you know the paint is wet on it and they'll put it up and that's so he decides to do that too oh everything everything wow. he, he he had no problem spending money mm -hmm. on the show he would Mm -hmm. Put something new, scrap it, uh, amazing. And then he was a little cameo. What would you say that he he makes uh, on one show, like, uh, like a, on It's Saturday hard night. to tell. You know, I, I go Does it by, go by the ratings? It goes by well, ratings. He's got, he's got the contract. You know, they pay him. Mm -hmm. Oh, they just pay him a contract. contract. Yeah. Oh. And they give him, if the show goes over good, I'm sure there's incentive money for him. I don't know for a fact, but, you know, when you work down there, he puts a lot of hours in. So when you did it with me, now, you never did really uh, uh, play the drums. Even though you played drums, you didn't do a lot of gigs in your no, life. No, I didn't do any gigs. So you just, you know how I many drummers would have loved <laughs> I know. to be a, a backup Billy Idol? I mean, I, I oh, worked yeah, with Billy that Idol. On, I, I, I jammed with Billy Idol. You know, he did a show, and then we came on, me and my brothers came on, and we did, a, you know, did our own thing. But, I mean, he was on the show. With, but I'm saying to back him up, it must have been. I was very scared. I was, I was very nervous, and to me, it was like that's crazy. Yeah. Right? I didn't really want he to do it. it. Right? He's not even a real, you know, a professional, you know, know, professional drummer. Drum, you know, wow. he played drums. Right. But he wasn't like, you know what I mean? And here he yeah. gets gets a chance to play and live was, on SNL. Yeah. Well, well, I had garage bands, and I had some pretty fair people that weren't. Yeah, no, I'm not saying you weren't good. No, I wasn't. I wasn't. I, I didn't have my heart in it. I mean, but but yet you stumbled onto having the place yeah. because you were, were at the right. I was just there at the right time, you know. The right place at the right time. That happens a lot. Yeah. The right place at the right time. Yeah. I had a garage a band. I had. I had, a, uh, I had a right place at the right time yeah. at the wrong time. I had a garage band and <laughs> and the people. The right we had a lot place. of famous people in there. We had Leslie West from uh, Mountain, yeah. and the original. He was there without the band, and the original uh, Mississippi Queen. The way he did it. Was, quality. Good. Good. Oh yeah. Quality. The way he did it was. He said Mississippi Queen. You know what I mean? Well, they, I was in the garage, and I said. We're on show, Frank. <laughs> we just played. We just played the video. Yeah. Oh, awesome! Awesome. So we yeah. were the audience today. Yeah, we we did. We mentioned you. Um, it's you Frank know, James, with guys. The song. It's Miranda's. Hi. Here. It's he, Frank James on, yeah, and yeah. that's my nephew and godson. That's crazy. I never even knew that. So what land? TV land. Oh, TV land. TV okay. Land. Yeah, you've been in IAU a long time. Yeah. Well, you know what? If you you got to come out now and, um, you know, yeah. get back into the real world. It's, what are you going to do? Well, we all got swamp ratted, right? Even Miranda got bottom fed. Now she's a, she's doing a contest, uh, contest for um, uh, Max. Maxim. Maxim, you know? Okay. Yeah, so, all right, so say hello to your audience and we'll, we'll, we'll get on with this. Yeah, we're on now. <laughs> We're live from studio. Everything's live. Everything's live. Yeah. Where are you? Are you, are you home or are you No, I'm in the studio. studio doing a show with three cameras in front of us. All right. All right, All right Frank. But we played the video. Everybody loved it. Oh, great, great. I Even loved it. Even though we don't have an audience, they still loved it. I know they we did. We know they did. You guys did, right? <laughs> we know you did. We're legends in our own mind, Frank. Yep, it's all up here. Perception. 
Mississippi Queen, you know. That was a garage. That was a garage. Yeah, in my garage. Yeah. So I turned around, I had a couple of beers. So I said, why are you doing like this? <laughs> Mississippi Queen, you know what I mean. Nice. And he did, and that's on the song, you know. Wow. And, yeah. and it was amazing, you yeah. know. But I never had the ambition. I could I I was too much, uh, uh, you know, too much jumping around and stuff. And what I did with the stage yeah. work, I actually was going to be a fireman. I went to the academy. Matter of fact, not to pat myself on the back, but I will. I had a 97 on the written test because my wife went mm -hmm. over with me at the time. Uh, she kept beating into my head because she wanted yeah. to get a city job. And I got a 99 on the physical. Wow. I'm probably the only person that ever got a 99 on the fine uh, physical that year because wow. that was, people were collapsing. A couple of people died. Yeah. It was very, very, hard. very hard. It's very but hard. I, I loved it. But the money... I started the, as a stage here making about 60000 and the fire department was only paying like seventeen five. so wow. I made the move. I said, hey, this is three times as much. I need the dough. I mean, I'm wow. married. I'm yeah, married. a kid. And that was it. Yeah, yeah but much respect to all the fire out yeah, there. Yeah, I know, but I love the training. Hard. I actually brought a so woman back that died. Over. Yeah, yeah, right. A woman collapsed in the supermarket, and I wow. gave her CPR and brought her back. That's good. Wow. And that was worth everything. So you could still save people's lives. That's right. Yeah. Listen to yeah, this. Now nice. I'm, I'm working with, um, see, we're talking about all different things in the business. We're talking about our magazine. They're talking about being on SNL. Right. And meeting these, the, the most famous actors in the world, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I said on my shows, I've been, you know, luck, lucky to get a couple of, and Sure enough, who comes on my show uh, from meeting uh, how I met him, met, um, got him on the show is because the writer from Really Great Magazine, Sandra Castillo, mm -hmm. um, set me up with the drummer for Billy Joel. Wow. So I, I have a role in of, that, of, of the interview that I did, and we might as well show it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's like, but this is Billy Joel's drummer. He played on all the, and you know what happened? He was telling me the story. He didn't get paid for a lot of his uh, recordings. Wow. They they bottom fed him, you know, Billy Joel, I guess when he was drunk and he was you know, he was going off on his own thing. He he never you know, he didn't have the money to pay them. I don't know, but whatever happened, he ended up suing um, Billy Joel for like three, four million and he he won the case. Wow. And this is the interview I had with him and they're gonna show, I'll show it to you now. Yeah, so the rolling didn't work. See how, they, how things work? The rolling didn't work. 
So what are you going to do? But anyway, we play. We, this is what we, happens. In we, show, we show the role in before, you know. And yeah. Um, anyway, yeah. Well, anyway, that was uh, Billy Joel's drummer. Yeah. That we were going to see. And yeah. um, he, he, he told me the story about, you know, and, and that's why they're, they're like, they're not really, uh, they're on the outs. Mm. Well, you know, you go through lawsuits and stuff like that. And, uh, well, at least he worked with him and, you know, he did a lot and he made his money and stuff. That was, you know. Yeah, yeah. That's great that yeah. he had that experience. That experience, and, yeah. You know, made the, made the money and did what he what he loved yeah. to do. So. Oh, yeah, and, he, and he's a great drummer. Yeah, I'm great sure. Drummer. Yeah. Playing for Billy... Billy Joel? Billy Joel, yeah. On yeah. his, you know, Glass album and, yeah. Yeah. The, the piano all the, all the, man. What? The piano man. The piano man, yeah. Mm -hmm. He was on all the biggies. But, um... That's great. Yeah, so... Oh, and they did it. Actually, I got a picture of, um... On Facebook, they had a picture of all the stuff that we did on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Fred got himself a little book. It's so I got so a book cute. with a video. This, I um, love it. Miranda, when we did the video... We did, um, could you zoom in on that a little? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, we did a video. Oh, yeah. Like I said, I can't believe this was, like, Peaks seven video. years ago. That yeah. was, like, the first year I met you, basically. Yeah, everything. Yeah, I know. But it was all on. And then, you know, oh, wow. We did the, <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Yeah, there's so many pictures. It's so nice, like, to look through all of that. Yeah, look, you got the picture with, so um, many memories. Musto Palinkovinki on mm -hmm. Limitless. Yeah, he was at CBS. He was on our. He's on our show a lot. CBS star. Yeah, I love Musto. Musto, Blinko Vici. Yeah. And you know, listen, what happened to him? Now you talk about what happened. Everything that possibly could go wrong in this business will go wrong. What happened? <laughs> so you better just keep going forward. Yeah. Well, what happened with him is about a month ago. He calls me up. You know, after I came, you know, back to Florida and stuff. I yeah. Was like, Naples, flood. Oh, if anybody wants to go to a cool um, area where they got a great sunset, Naples, Florida. If you catch that sun mm. sun going down, it's unbelievable. Wow, that's unbelievable. great. I got. I don't know if it's a picture of it up in here, but yeah. But um, what was I say? Oh, with Musto, right? I um, was him. He finally gets a uh, sit another sitcom mm. uh, on blacklist. Wow, I because, love that show. Yeah. Oh my god, I love no, that they, they want they want to use them. I li like I literally they want to use them in a lot of different um, things, scenes and stuff. That's great. But now they got to re. But I'll, I'll explain what happened. He called me up. He said, "Fred, he says I'm going to the city, but I'm not sure. You know, I'm, I'm not feeling that great. But I'm, when he went there, he had the COVID. They tested oh, him. They wow. test all the actors. Yeah, when you get before you go on, mm -hmm. they have to test you." Yeah, I know. You know, with this, with all this um, craziness that's going on. But anyway, so his, he finally got on uh, another big uh, gig. This was a month or so ago, you said? A month ago. Um, well, I'd, I'd say about a month ago because, mm. yeah, I'm just, yeah, about a month ago. Mm. And um, he said, Fred, they, they, they love me and, uh, you know, they wanted to put me on uh, two two or three different um, scenes, episode, wow. and um, yeah, so they had to, they had to cancel his um, thing, and he says, don't worry about it, when you come back, you know, we'll find, no, so now you got to find the role, you know, you got to find the role. Well, at least they, they still want him to come yeah, back. Yeah, they, they, they like I him a lot. I love that show. Yeah, well, Musso's a great, he's a great... Um, yeah, they were just filming on Staten Island um, recently, but this was like a week or two ago, they were on Staten Island. Who? Blacklist. Blacklist? Yeah, yeah, they were filming on Staten Island. Yeah? Wow. Yeah. Musto was brilliant. You know, when we did no, that he's pool good. Yeah, show. He's a good actor. When we did that pool show, and he said, you know, they could print money and everybody could be billionaires, but the only thing is we'll die. And I said, I'm listening. And he says, because there'll be nobody to do the crops, there'll be nobody to deliver the food, there'll be nobody because everybody's rich and they're not going to work. So, I mean, the most brilliant thing that anybody could ever say yeah. is that's so true. And now with the unemployment, with the bonuses, people don't want to go back to work. If any kid tells yeah. me I can't find a job today, I'll tell them you're full of it because yeah. everybody's got signs of they want to hire people. Mm -hmm. The problem is now they've been all, been all for a year 
and they're getting they're getting money from the government exactly and they're getting more than they actually were making stimulus and why should we go back to work yeah why not know? make six hundred dollars and you can make eight hundred staying home? Yeah, and that's the problem right now. That's yeah. the, did they, they did they pay you more money for with being out of work? Um, yeah, I mean I got a little bit from unemployment. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean oh but you were work you were working steady with the you were working steady? No, I was I right, was part time cool. with a Barclay Center. Yeah. yeah they just Barclay reopened Center. like it was yeah, two months ago now or something. Wow. Yeah. So yeah. I haven't I haven't gone back yet. We'll see. I I don't. I mean I love that place, but we'll see what happens. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. And I'm trying to focus on this stuff right now. So. Yeah. So we you, you gotta check uh, Miranda. Any, I know everybody's on Facebook out there. Check out Miranda. Miranda Tiffany Panda. Yeah, Miranda Panda, Miranda Tiffany, either one. Tiffany, Miranda Tiff Tiffany Panda, either yeah, one. Tiffany, yeah. <laughs> And, uh, you know, and then click on, what do you just click on, right? Click on the, yeah. the link. Yeah, I've and been posting it, like, every day. So if you guys have me on there, you'll see it. Oh, there's a lot of people. Yeah, on a it. bunch of my other stuff, too. Yeah. Yeah. It's tough, though. You don't know if they're, you know, somebody could come on and put uh, false clicks, too. you yeah, right? If you, no, just, no like I said, it, it, yeah, if you, well, people could put money on it. That's That's how they could, like, not cheat, but... That's how they can get ahead. If you have somebody that puts like a ton of money, you know, in in the voting thing, um, to donate to wounded warriors, uh, you can get ahead like that with the yeah, votes. Yeah, yeah. You have money, you know. That's with everything these days, right? Like <laughs> if you have money you can do like anything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and connections. Money well, and connections. No, well you know what? I know a lot of people that had money during the COVID they couldn't do they did less than we did oh well yeah i mean something like that you must did, really humble you a couldn't lot of travel, people you couldn't you know because it's just stopped everything you so no matter on. how much money you have it's still kind of like stopped yeah. you well that's it, 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 it puts you in, uh, in life that money isn't everything you have to yeah see, exactly you have to it humbled a lot through. of people yeah i mean you I know, know listen it helps to have money coming in and, and yeah it does help yeah but it's not, it's not everything, right, Pete? Right. No, yeah. I mean, a lot of people who had money lost family members and stuff. So oh, it's like, oh. that's not going to bring your family members back just because you have money. The people, the, the friends that I lost during the year, family, forget about it. It's, it's horrible. Yeah, but, I know. But, you know, everybody's going through it. What, what are we going to do? That's why, you know, we're getting back. We're doing the shows. And, and you know, life goes on. You got to just, you know. Yeah. Do the Humor best. Do the best thing you could do, right? Universal. Oh yeah. Thing. It keeps everybody going. And yeah, yeah. Comedy and music. Comedy, yeah. You could relate to people. You could talk to people. But well, they're gonna bring English and they know the music. They're yeah. gonna bring back Broadway, but now they're gonna bring it back. Well, I don't know why they're bringing it back now. They're saying in September. Maybe yeah, you gotta practice and everything there. It takes a lot to get it going because yeah. the lighting. Yeah. Also, and, they're waiting. Yeah. They're slowly like. Uh, I mean, I don't know if it's slow enough, if it's fast enough, but they're slowly ish trying to open up they're not trying to just like do it right away you know well, all yeah. the rigging and stuff all the ropes and so, stuff that they gotta pull they gotta be doing more because sitting dormant for a year the rope rusts. that's true too yeah so it's gonna all right Pete, i want to ask you what at all of the, the how many years did you work for well, that that 20, 20, 25 25 years okay who who inspired you the most that you were there that you've seen, like actors or... Oh, Robert I mean, Williams. Robert Williams? Oh, my Williams, God. Robert course. Williams and Milton uh, Burrow. He was on a show. He came Milton on. Milton Burrow, yeah. I actually was... One day, Milton Burrow, George Burns, and Robert Williams were standing in the corner, and they were talking, and Robert Williams walked away, and they said, this is the most talented guy. Now, Milton Burrow was known for not giving out compliments to anybody but himself. I mean, mm -hmm. he was a great comedian. I mean, he was the first guy yeah. to cross-dress. I mean, wow. you know, so yeah. it was, uh, I mean, really, they paid a lot of tribute to him. How he, a lot of people don't know. What he uh, we want to thank uh, Pete DiMaffetta right. for uh, coming on. Thank you. It was a so pleasure sorry. being here. Miranda, my co-host, I um, wish her a lot of luck for the, for the magazine and but she's gonna be a, you're gonna be Thank doing you movies and everything, right? I, I hope so. Yeah. That's where I'm. That's what I'm working towards right now. I got yeah. a bunch of stuff going on, so. Yeah, you can't quit. You gotta keep going. Yeah. There's nothing, you know. Yeah. You're only as you're only as good as your last gig. That's right. So. That is true, actually. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, I was on stage with Chuck Berry with ten thousand people, and the next day I was at the Lancaster Lounge. 
Okay, you just want to keep it. That's that's what the doctor's saying, baby. You just want to, you just want the truth. That's the truth of this business. Yeah. You got to take the good and the bad, and yeah. you got to improve your art and try to make yourself as best you can and, and improve. You know, you could prove your pictures, prove your sound, prove. Never give up. Yeah. You could accomplish Never everything if you're willing to hard. Are we almost work. almost done? Yeah, a minute and a half. Rolling. A minute and a half. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So. That's it. And so, you know, we're going to do the Coney Island thing. You're going to be on, when are you going to be on the radio? On Come Frank, here probably this weekend, I'll see. Frank Russo, right? Frank what Russo. channel is he on? That's on 77 WABC. Mm. And it's on from uh, 1 to 7, or no, 1 to 6. 1 to and 6. And on uh, Saturday, it's on from 12 to 6. Yeah. In the morning? In the morning. It's at night. It's through the night. Oh, yeah. through the night. Okay. Night. Did you That's know? That's awesome. Oh, did you uh, have that horse, uh, Medina Spirit? No, no right? I didn't. You did, did you watch the you, you watch the Derby? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you really? What the heck were you doing? To me? <laughs> you didn't Maybe watch the year. Derby? Maybe I'll buy the most exciting it. race of all time. <laughs> Alice, I'm gonna send you to the moon. I didn't bet on it. So well, anyway, I Brian picked it, Medina Spirit. Guys, nice. Brian, what do you like, Medina Spirit? Nice. You know, like the Jackie Blaze. I said, I. I, when he came out, I said, wait a minute, who said Medina Spirit? Right? It's a beautiful and guess what? Place. You don't bet. Remember Grazzi, uh, Jackie Grazzi, I mean, that, uh, Graziano, the boxer? We'll the see boxer you next time, guys. It hits me like that! <laughs> All right, everybody. Bye, bye. 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 What do you like, TV? We love you out there. Bye. Stay well and fight. Everybody stay safe. I know.